Hey guys, so you've obviously come here to this page just like me to try and calculate your calories. So we've made this really simple for you. We just want it to be a nice, simple process that you can get started with immediately. Okay, so what we've done is put together our own calculator that you can download and use absolutely free. So you're here on this page, you've got the maintenance calorie calculator, you've downloaded it, and now you need to know what to actually do with it. So what you're going to do is come to this window on your Excel, and it's gonna say here on the top left, only highlight where the font is red. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna click where the font is red, put in my body weight, 80 kg, height around 183, 182 to 183, I'm gonna say 183, um, age 24, and activity level, you're probably like, oh, what does that mean? And then you're just gonna go over here to the right to give you some idea of what you should be working with. So for example, 1.7 to 1.8 is very active, so you have a physically demanding lifestyle and hard exercise or sports six to seven days per week. So I'm gonna put myself somewhere in and around there at the moment because I am doing a lot of activity. And then all I do is I click enter. Then what I've got down here in the next section is the results for men and for women. So what you're going to have here are a couple of results. The first one is your BMR. That's your basal metabolic rate. And that's not the level of calories that you require to maintain. Okay, so that's not what we're working with. That is a baseline measurement of what might be required if you were bed bound, let's say. Okay, so we'll keep it very simple. If you were bed bound, that would be the, the, the amount of calories you might require. But because I've added in the activity modifier, uh, because I was quite active, then that pushes me up to 3,255, that my, I would maintain my body weight around that level. And for me, that's actually quite accurate. And I eat in and around 3,000 to 3,200 at the moment, and I'm just kind of slightly losing weight, and I can tell I'm a little bit below my average. So this won't be perfect all of the time, but it gives you a really nice starting point, okay? So from there, what you can do, if you'd like, is break down your calorie goal a bit further. So let's say I want to lose weight and I pop in here on the right hand side, 3000. So I say I'm gonna eat 3000 calories, but then I wanna know what that looks like in terms of macronutrients. So you can put in percentages. Now we don't like to use these very often with, with our clients, but they can be useful starting points. So if we say we wanna have 30% protein, that will be 225 grams of protein. We wanna have 50% carbohydrates, that's 375 grams of carbohydrates. And if we want to have 20% fat, then that, that's going to be 67 grams of fat. And then that adds up in total to your 3000 calories in total. So it's just a starting point, guys. Don't sweat it too much. Some people get really caught up in this stuff and wonder, you know, is this perfect? It mightn't be perfect for you, but the beautiful thing is that once you start, you can track your progress and you can see whether or not this is, you know, too much or too little calories for your goal, whether your goal is to lose or gain body weight. We do have additional nutritional recommendations um, in terms of setting protein intake, setting fat intake, um, discussions of all of that physiology, and you'll find that on other places on our site so hopefully this was helpful and if you do have any questions of course feel free to ask us